It is ultra sugary. It's too sugary, but very fun. I actually feel a little bit giddy now. Happy birthday, everybody, and welcome to Seriously, where we take cereals seriously. My name is Alex, and when I was in my late teens, I had three of my four wisdom teeth removed. I still have one, and I have no idea why. It's a real bugger to brush. When the dentist was taking them out, two of my three teeth made a sound, and I'm not kidding, just like this. The other one, unfortunately, instead of going, went, it exploded, and I was pulling shards of it out of my gums for years afterwards. I think we may have gone to an experimental or student dentist back then. For some reason, that's a hazy memory of mine. If you've ever had an explosive experience with your wisdom teeth or any other teeth, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. Today on Serial Slee, we're taking a look at four variations on another absolute cereal classic, Frosted Flakes. Launched by Kellogg's in 1952 as Sugar Frosted Flakes, the word sugar was finally dropped in 1983. I am amazed it lasted that long. Frosted Flakes are, of course, Frosted Corn Flakes. They took one of the most iconic original cereals, Corn Flakes, slathered it with sugar, put a cartoon character on the box, and it was an instant success. Go figure. And of course, everyone knows the cartoon character mascot, Tony the Tiger. Tony has been with the cereal since the beginning, though there were a few competing characters at launch that appeared on early boxes. Still, Tony won out easily and has remained an emblem of the brand throughout its entire lifespan. He's always used that catchphrase, say it with me, they're great. And most famously, he was voiced for 50 years by Thurl Ravenscroft. You'd recognize good old Thurl instantly as the guy who sings, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. He's also a Disney classic. His voice appears on several Disney rides, including being one of the singing busts near the end of the Haunted Mansion ride. I love that part. <laughs> now, one last interesting fact, Frosted Flakes is considered a cautionary misstep in one particular way for Kellogg's. The name itself is so straightforward and generic that it can't be copyrighted. So instead of requiring rival companies to come up with Tutti Fruities or Marshmallow Mateys level copycat name variations, they can just make them and call them Frosted Flakes. That's no good. All right, after all that talk about Frosted Flakes, what we have today here is actually four different flankers, four different variations on Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes, just one or two, no, yeah, two episodes ago, won the pumpkin spice contest. That flavor isn't even one of the four. There are four other flankers on the market right now. So first, let's go with what I consider pretty standard, which is this, Frosted Flakes chocolate. It's just Frosted Flakes, but instead of the normal coating, it has instead a great chocolate taste to it. They are appropriately brown, and here's Tony the Tiger feeling real good about it. So if you've forgotten what regular Frosted Flakes look like, they have them on the back of the box here. But I, I think this is gonna be the most normal. In fact, I think this flavor is around quite a bit. So let's look at the other ones that are, I think are gonna be a little bit more creative, at least two of them. Here's the first of those. We have strawberry milkshake flavors. Now, interesting, they didn't just go and make it strawberry because they do this thing where it makes delicious strawberry flavored milk. Strawberry milk, I think is much farther below chocolate milk, but it is still a thing. My kids liked it when they were little. They probably still do today. This one is labeled as new. Again, not limited edition. They actually say new as if they're going for having several different varieties on the market at all times. I don't know if that's gonna be the case, but strawberry, just like chocolate, is equally, I would think, normal. You can see they kind of on the picture have like a pinkish hue, but not all of them. Some of them still have the regular yellowish orange of the frosted flake, the corn flake that's underneath. So that'll be interesting to see how pink are they. I've told you in the past too, I'm a little bit colorblind and pale pinks are actually kind of hard for me to see accurately. We'll see if that comes out. Maybe I'll see something and you guys see something else. All right, let's go on to our third one, and that is this. 
cinnamon French toast. Again, they took it one step further. They didn't just say cinnamon toast, they said cinnamon French toast. What do they mean? The difference between cinnamon toast and cinnamon French toast is an egg dip? That's certainly not going to be what we taste, is it? Egg? <laughs> we'll have to see if that's the case. Again, it says bursting with cinnamon sweetness makes no mention of the milk turning into a cinnamon milk. So that's odd. It's such a similar idea, and yet they market it with just those little twists to keep it interesting. Finally, we have one that I have kind of a morbid curiosity about. I have to admit, it's not a specific flavor like this. Instead, it is Minecraft Frosted Flakes. You may remember that we've tried both Minecraft Creeper cereal with my kid Charlie, and it was pretty bad, but then we also had an episode where we tried Avatar Flakes, which were in some ways just like this. They were Frosted Flakes with some bonus thing thrown in. That was the episode with my brother about movies. Those were also terrible. So maybe this will be great and redeem the memory of those bad ones, or maybe it will take all that grossness that's come before it and double down on it. I can't wait to find out. So that is it. Four different flavors. In addition to two weeks ago, we tasted and it won the pumpkin spice Frosted Flakes won that showdown. But remember, all of these stand on a foundation of a deadly simple cereal concept, cornflakes that are frosted. So is it wise to go outside such a solid premise? Will these be anything more than a fleeting distraction to the classic original? Friends, it's time to eat some cereal. All right, I am ready, my friends. I have got my stack of bowls, <laughs> I've got my spoon, and I have got my special guest, Skim Jong-un, today. Political first tyrant I've referenced <laughs> on Seriously. That's okay. All right, let's give these things a try. I think we may start. You know what? I, I do think I'm going to start with the Minecraft. That, that's a different category than these others. It is, yes, a variation, but I don't think they're changing up the actual Frosted Flakes. You can see that in all the other three, Tony is going, they're great. In this one, he's just jamming out. He's a gamer. He's got his green headset on so he can talk with all of his eight-year-old buddies uh, uh, about Minecraft and what they're building lately. Um, let's open these things up. Again, I assume they're going to be similar boxes and bags. They're all from Kellogg's, which is fine. Yes, that was fine. <laughs> yep, looks like Frosted Flakes with marshmallows in it. Uh, Boy, oh boy, are they getting away with something here with these Minecraft marshmallows, because they're just cubes. Actually, now that I'm saying that, it must not be super easy to make these specific cubes. I'm going to change my tune entirely. I think this is a victory, because other things, just balloon shapes or rainbows or whatever, those are two-dimensional. You can just this is, this is really, they have to worry about all sides of this cube being the right cut. And there's at least three different colors of them. I see darker green, sort of a light paler mint green, and then more of a vibrant yellowy green. So at least, and maybe your eyeballs see something more than that. Um, actually, I'm trying to dig out the three flavors. Not, they're not three flavors. They're one marshmallow flavor, but just want to taste that real quick. Mmm. Whoa. Well, they are absolutely in the crunchy, crunchy, crunchy uh, burst of sugary fun marshmallow category. That was great. Yeah, as expected, the Frosted Flakes just taste like straight up Frosted Flakes. <laughs> so let's get these out of the way. Let's try these with milk. We may leave our options open for how we do the other ones in sequence, but this one we're gonna get out of the way just because it's, it's not the same as the other ones. Wow. Well, this has nothing to do with it being Minecraft necessarily, but <laughs> putting marshmallows into Frosted Flakes is the very definition of overkill. <laughs> it is taking something that is extremely sweet and putting more sweetness on top of it. Now, I will say that these marshmallows are so crisp, and I say that in a wonderful way, that they really do add a different type of sweetness. There's a little bit of saltiness in them that makes it a really powerful crunch. So it is ultra sugary, it's too sugary, but very fun. I actually feel a little bit giddy now eating so much sugar at one point. You can see I'm a little shaking. <laughs> That's not really true. All right, let me try one more bite. Wow, these are really fun and great. If I was a kid, 
this might be like one of my favorite cereals because it's just so darn sweet and yummy. And it, it really does add quite a bit to have something else in the Frosted Flakes. It's almost like the least healthy version of Raisin Bran, <laughs> where you've got flakes and you've got some little nugget in there. The nugget is not a raisin, nothing healthy about it. Instead, it's these cube-shaped <laughs> marshmallows. I'm gonna have one more bite though. All right, I gotta get away from this thing. Uh, I'm, I'm loving it, but we got so much more cereal to eat. I gotta put this aside. Again, these three are sort of companions to each other, I feel like. So that's why we're gonna do them in a row. I think I might try them all dry and then go back and try them with, I was gonna say wet, but with milk. Um, so let's start with this first one, chocolate frosted flakes, which I think has been around for quite some time or keeps leaving and returning. Uh, I don't think it's as new and different as these two other flavors. Very good bag, very good box. Good job, Kellogg's. Ooh, ugh. <laughs> Ugly. Oh, wow. Very good chocolate smell though, holy moly. Wow, that is a, re it's very normal chocolatey flavored, almost like a Hershey syrup smell than it is like a normal cereal powdery chocolate. Wow, that's really surprising. Yeah, it's really like a, like a hot fudge smell that you'd have on top of a, a sundae. Wow, that's really interesting. All right, let me try it dry. Mmm, 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 mmm. Boy, that is a deep chocolate taste. Well beyond like a Cocoa Pebbles, for instance, although I love Cocoa Pebbles. This one has, it's a rich chocolate flavor. Add something substantial to the flakes itself. Boy, this is taking me by surprise. I didn't know I would like this that much. Oh, I forgot to mention why I reacted so poorly before. It is horrendous looking. It is sloppy looking. You can see so much of the corn flake. It looks like a mess and it is not good. <laughs> the brown with the yellowish orange peeking out from it, not a good look, Tony. Although I guess <laughs> Tony is an orangish yellowish beast with brown or black stripes on him. So maybe this is the most Frosted Flakes looking Frosted Flakes of them all? <laughs> wow, now I feel like I've offended Tony and I apologize for that, uh, my, my Tony the Tiger friend. All right, let's go for strawberry. That's always a good match. You've got it in Neapolitan ice cream. Uh, they should have gotten chocolate strawberry vanilla, uh, but maybe the implication is that, no, I was gonna say normal Frosted Flakes are the vanilla, but that's not the case. So. Strawberry ones, ooh, yummy. They smell very strawberry-y. Again, these are strawberry milkshake flavored, so the milk may, might make all the difference. Well, I was dogging these on the front cover for being kind of blotchy and pink only at parts. I think that's true. Like I said, I, I have a hard time seeing pale pink super well, so they're not as noticeably messy to me as the chocolate ones, but they are, they are still less frosted than I thought with the pink. Why wouldn't they frost the whole thing? so that they're pink. The other parts are still frosted. It's not like they're bare grain, but anyway, they're just missing a lot of spots. That, that must be what they're going for. It just seems odd. All right, let's try some of this dry. Hmm. Now, this is very artificial strawberry taste. Hmm, I don't like that very much. Surprising because I was just raving over how intense and dark and deep the good chocolate taste was. These do not taste like a strawberry sauce that you would put into something to make a milkshake, nor the ground up natural strawberries. It's a very, very fake artificial strawberry taste to me. Maybe milk will do something different. Maybe that's why they're emphasizing the milkshakeness of it, but so far, not great. Finally, cinnamon French toast. What an odd combination of words to put. Ugh. Boy, why was that bag so hard? It's coming from the same company. Isn't it coming from the same location? Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Again, they have they call it cinnamon French toast flavored. I, I mentioned that egg was a primary ingredient. They also show it with butter on it. Maybe that will be an element. Maybe it'll be butteriness. It, it smells very cinnamon-ish. Okay, these do not suffer from the same problem. At least in my eyeballs, they are not as messy looking now that's not necessarily to their credit because they don't look like anything. They look very similar, maybe a little bit more glisten to the areas that are supposed to be cinnamon French toast flavored. Let's give them a taste 
uh, dry, see if they, they taste like anything. <laughs> well, they are cinnamon sugar-ish for sure. That's a given. But there may be, it might just be mental for me, there may be a butteriness to it that puts it over the edge of being validly called French toast <laughs> versus just cinnamon toast. <laughs> the clear winner dry is this chocolate one. Let's go back and give all of these a, a fair shake when it comes to eating them with milk like most human beings do when it comes to these cereals. Let's try chocolate Frosted Flakes with milk. Folks, these are something special. This chocolate is so good. It really feels like they had Frosted Flakes and then they took a bottle of Hershey's chocolate and put it on it. I am dead serious. It is way better than most of the other chocolate cereals that I eat. Even last week we tried Kit Kat cereal, which its primary flavor was supposed to be chocolate, and it was kind of a fleeting, a light chocolate. This is a very substantial chocolate sauce flavor. Mm. What's interesting to me is they don't make any mention of them turning the milk chocolatey. They are totally satisfied with just letting the chocolate on the cereal speak for itself, although, <laughs> If you can see this, you can tell it's becoming very chocolatey milk. Why would they make such an emphasis on strawberry milkshake and not make a huge emphasis and call this chocolate milkshake? I know that'd be taking a step back because chocolate frosted flakes have already existed, but in this season where they're trying to sell the other ones, why aren't these all milkshake flavors? Well, I don't know. Let me try one more bite of this. I am really enjoying it. Wow, this is the surprise of the month for me. Let me try the milk. Yummy, rich, thick, chocolatey sauce flavor. Yum, oh yum. I would put that cereal on ice cream as a topping. I would get vanilla ice cream and a box of Frosted Flakes chocolate and pour them on and it would be heaven. Wow, well that really was a surprise, what fun. All right, let's try these strawberry things. I, like I said, dry, tasted very artificial, very fake strawberry. Let's see maybe though, if the fact that they're called strawberry milkshake is where the ticket is, where the key is, because they want, they need the milk in them. All right, let's give it a try with milk. Mm, I don't like it. It doesn't taste like natural strawberry flavor. Even when you go to a diner, like, some chain diner, Denny's or something, and you get a strawberry milkshake, it tastes strawberry. It tastes like natural strawberries or natural strawberry syrup or even like a jam mixed up into that. This doesn't taste natural. It tastes very artificial, very chemical, very fake. Now, I'm not, I don't gravitate towards strawberry flavored snack foods. I like strawberry candies, but maybe that's the problem. No, I was thinking that might be the problem. Like maybe I don't have enough strawberry to know that this is actually okay. But if you were a strawberry connoisseur, strawberry flavor lover, this still wouldn't be good for you because you'd know that it tastes less natural than other strawberry flavors. Dang, what an odd miss, especially in the face. Maybe the problem is that the chocolate was so dang good. <laughs> you did it to yourself, Tony. All right, here we go. One last one. Uh, I kind of cheers there with the milk uh, for the cinnamon French toast frosted flakes. Yeah, right, they're just cinnamon, maybe. Let's see if there's any butteriness or egginess <laughs> that comes out when we have it in milk. Hmm, no, don't, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm trying to will it up into existence, but there is no French toastness about this. It is totally a fine cinnamon cereal, but this is just, oh, they're, they're shooting above their station by thinking that this tastes like cinnamon French toast. <laughs> that, they're, they're joking, they're kidding themselves. All right, let's do some ratings around these parts. First of all, Minecraft, so fun. This will be your kid's favorite. You gotta go get this for them. They're gonna like the video game. They're gonna like Tony the Tiger. They're gonna like the little marshmallows that are in it. It gets some free mine coins, uh, which is actually pretty good if you play that version of Minecraft. Uh, this will get them like a little hat or something that they can wear in their game. Um, so very fun, 
so unbelievably sugary. <laughs> so if you're a parent that cares about that stuff, caution, careful of this one. But just go get it. Just be a nice guy and go get your kid <laughs> some of this nonsense. I give this a four for very, very fun. Um, then let's go and order chocolate. You guys, I was blown out of the water. 4.5. This might be one of my new favorite cereals. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this home and celebrate with my family. Tonight, we're gonna have chocolate Frosted Flakes for dinner. <laughs> Kids, gather around, honey. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy that suggestion. Probably not, but uh, I think they will love it like I did. Uh, so that, let's give that one 4.5. Really, really positive. Uh, strawberry milkshake was the lowest. I'd say a, a two if even, uh, maybe a 1.5. I would avoid that one. It just was not worth it. It, it wasn't good. Finally, we've got cinnamon French toast Frosted Flakes. If you can get by the arrogance it must have took to put French toast on there and just say it's cinnamon. <laughs> It's cinnamon uh, Frosted Flakes. It's totally fine. Let's give it a 2.5 for existing and being allowed to exist as a totally fine thing. But you don't need to rush out and get this. So again, four, 4.5, and then low. A two, if even, 2.5, it's fine, but don't worry about it. Uh, so that, that was a blast. Uh, and again, surprise of, uh, uh, I was going to say my lifetime. That's not true. That's really overblowing it. But I really, really enjoyed uh Frost Flakes chocolate. Well, my dear friends, we have done it all. <laughs> we talked, we ate, we basically coated our insides with frostedness, <laughs> and now it is enough. Uh, remember, we gave these cereals again 4.5, a 4 over here, 2 if even, and then a 2.5. This is the real champion of the day. If you want to try today's cereals for yourself, all four of them are available right now, though I'm not sure how long each of them might individually last. A few may be near the end of their life cycle. I'm thinking specifically of these two. Chocolate seems to have some legs even beyond this. And the, the Minecraft too, uh, I would buy it now if you're interested in trying that. And listen, if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with what cereal that we should look at together in a future episode. Until then, never be soggy, my friends. Bye-bye.